coffee. Good morning, everyone. So, or afternoon. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. It's been quite some time since I've done a video. A couple weeks here. But uh, I figured I'd come back with a nice McFarlane video. And my new Space Force hat. United States Space Force hat. <laughs> so, I'm going to open up this video with a figure that I've been waiting for for quite some time. Uh, even even pre McFarlane action figures like this dates back to the the nineties. They made this figure, but it was not very articulated. It wasn't a great figure. I always hoped for a Toy Biz one, and they never did it. So now finally McFarlane has done this figure, and I dare say it's pretty fantastic looking, with the exception of no guns because apparently DC's on this whole no gun binge, um, and the pouches for the guns on the character are just pouches now instead of gun holsters so but you know a little customization could always fix that but without further ado one of my favorite dc characters that we are going to unbox today is grifter i have been waiting so long for this so let's let's just get to it let's get to it let's get right to it all right we're gonna s remember kids no knives knives are for adults only if you need to use a knife ask a parent to help okay i'm gonna set that there and we are going to pop this figure out of its box. The long-awaited Grifter figure. All right. Just slide the box right off. Now, he did come with a knife and a sword, which, you know, it's whatever. Uh, the sword I'll probably put with somebody else because I just, I've never seen Grifter using a sword. But I did go through my stuff and I happened to find the Grifter gun from the figure that they made in the 90s. So I'll probably put that with them, honestly. I also have a couple couple custom guns that I can make up. This is, you know, pretty grifter gun-like, or uh, even one that I've already started working on, which is right here. This is kind of kind of grifter gun-like, so I could give them both of those. But uh, let's get this uh, plastic off and take the figure out and take a look at him. All right. It's time for you to come out of your plastic dungeon. Oh, yeah. There we go. That is a figure I have been waiting for for far too long. Far too long. Articulation's great. Thankfully, nothing snapping off like most people complain about. Do we have... We have a knee and an... Oh, wow. We've got a knee and an ankle joint on this figure. Look at that. Wow. Up in the articulation, McFarland. Good on you. So, basically, you've got articulation here in the knee and then articulation here oh whoops wrong was that right yeah right there at the bottom of the knee that is great so you can do like jump kick kind of poses and stuff like that so that's pretty rad and yeah, his legs don't move too well but uh not bad you know what i may do I think in order to custom this guy, I'm going to take the belt off that he's actually wearing. I wonder, does his jacket come off? No, okay, so the jacket, for some reason, the jacket McFarlane has decided to glue down now, which he's not done with too many of his figures. That's, uh, I'm going to have to admit, Todd, that's kind of lame that you glued Grifter's jacket down. Can't really uh, do much with him there like that. But, uh, you know, worst case scenario, if you're not into, like, super customizing, at least the head comes off okay. So you can just take the head and put it on another body. But really, it's the body that we've been waiting for, because we've had a grifter head on the other figure for some time. So let's see. So let's see how he looks with his, his gun from the classic. Oh, wow, that's a big hand. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, it works. Okay, it works okay. It's a little big, but... Uh, there's his gun from the classic figure, one of his two guns. Uh, probably not going to use that. Probably going to go with the custom guns that I painted, uh, which I originally painted for Red Hood, but they're probably going to look better with Grifter. Let's see. There's one. And here's number two. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, there there are the pew pews, as people are calling them. Yeah, that looks way better with those. Look at that. 
That is nice. Now, you know, if you don't want to do two guns, you know, you can always get just do the one gun. And he, Grifter did have a knife in the comic book, so, you know, it makes sense for McFarlane Toys to make the knife here. But uh, I'll probably do a gun and a knife just to make it kind of, uh, you know, different looking a little bit. Let's see. There's a knife. Uh, but you know what? We're going to put it. We'll put the knife backwards on his hand because it'll look better that way. This is the only McFarlane figure you'll actually ever see me playing with. <laughs> Grifter is that much of a favorite character of mine. I love this character. He's just a, he is a really cool Jim Lee creation that I thought was cool. There we go. That's a strike a pose like that, Grifter. Look at that. That's nice. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful figure. That is nice. Okay, so now that we've looked at Grifter, let's go ahead and set Grifter aside. We'll put him aside over here. I'm going to leave that gun with him because I think that gun fits him pretty well. All right, we're going to put his sword over there as well, just because it goes with him. And then, you know, like every other McFarlane figure, it comes, of course, with the uh, McFarlane DC base that they do. A little black, little flat black base. This guy right here. So we're going to take that out and put it over there because I'll need that for setting them up. And then let's put this box away. All right. So that, that was a must-show figure because I have been waiting for that for far too long. So let's set that aside. Now on to a second figure that I've been waiting on for quite some time. Um, well, they did so they did the TV show one, but I've been waiting on the actual comic book accurate one. So here we have, uh, I think this is, yeah, so this is from Injustice 2. Uh, sadly, we still don't have a comic, technically a comic book accurate one, but this Injustice 2 one we'll have to do. But here is our Green Arrow from Injustice 2. I've been waiting for a Green Arrow figure that's close to comic book accurate for some time as well. So let's take a look at this. Team them up with my Hal Jordan and my Barry Allen up there. All right, so uh, funny that Todd McFarlane can do uh, bows and arrows, but you don't get a single arrow. You just get this pack here, which is kind of stupid, but, you know, it is what it is. So you get the arrow pack there and then the bow over here. No single arrow to mess with because uh, that's, you know, thank you, DC, for no pew pew, I guess. All right, let's slip that, cut that plastic off. Pop this figure out. Okay. All right. That side eye thing is going to drive me freaking bonkers. God, come on, Todd. Stop with the side eyes. We get it. You want things to look more... Oh, this one has the same same knee articulation as the grifter. That's cool. That's fantastic. I'm glad he changed it up a little bit. Now we've got a little more movement to work with. But uh, can we stop with the side eye thing, Todd? Please stop with the side eyes. They, they, they're they okay on some figures, but if you do them on every single figure, it just gets to look ridiculous. And to my recollection, it looks like you've done it on maybe the last, like, 20 figures you've released. So, please, please Todd, this is us asking you to please stop. <laughs> well, this is me asking you to please stop. Whoops. And this is, this is stupid, too. I mean, why are you going to do a pack of arrows together and the, the, you know, the holster for them, which I think is called a quiver, if I remember correctly, uh, and then, and put it, that's stupid. Come on, Todd. Come on. Nobody wants this. So that goes right on the back there like that. And there's your green arrow. It's a good thing I have single arrows. I can just paint green myself because this is pretty lame. It's a cool figure, but the, the accessories are definitely lame. Definitely. And he, even the bow is kind of small for um, Oliver's hand. Ah, let's see how it looks. You should. It's too bad you can't release the Injustice figures under the Mortal Kombat line, um, since it's the same company. You know, Todd? I act like Todd McFarlane's actually going to see this video. <laughs> well, there we have it. There is the green arrow. Not too shabby. Decent looking figure. 
he will go up next to my Hal Jordan and my Wally West. Oh boy, I have way too many figures sitting here right now. A lot of, a lot of them I've had to store away because I don't have the room. I'm gonna get getting ready to go through, and I might, I might actually sell some that I'm kind of tired of looking at. Not tired of looking at, but like I don't need every single Todd McFarlane figure. Okay, maybe I'm lying. Maybe I do. I have, I have a problem. <laughs> no, as any collector does, we we all we all like to collect a certain thing, and we kind of try to stick to it. You know, there's people that collect Marvel Legends that have every single Marvel Legend that's been released, which is just what you would think is madness. Or somebody that collects the Black Series that has every Black Series figure that's been released, which again, also you would think is madness. But because uh, there's a lot of Legends and a lot of Black Series, McFarlane's just barely started, and he's on a I think on a three year contract with. Uh, DC, so who knows what'll happen after he's gone. Let's set that aside. All right, so that's two down. We're at eleven minutes. I want to. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop there uh, for this video, and uh, I'll do and post another one later. Um, I still have a couple more figures that I want to uh, reveal and unbox. But overall, I really really like that Grifter figure. It's beautiful. And Green Arrow is nice too. But, uh, you know, and I, I'm not unboxing. I've already unboxed these, but I want to show a couple cool figures that I actually took out uh, this week and didn't really get a chance to do a video on. Um, this this right here, man, this is the Aquaman that they released for um, that comic book miniseries uh, with the Ice Ice King, I think it is. Uh, but, uh, man, what a, what a beautiful, we've been waiting on a really nice Aquaman. And this one, you've got, you've got the fins there on the, on the feet and everything. And he's got the, the nice trident and the hair and the, the head. I've seen people popping this head off and putting the, uh, head on with the short hair and without the beard. But, uh, this is just a really, really nice, nice figure. I mean, kudos to you, uh, Todd McFarlane on making a really, uh, I'm going to say it, kids, bad blank aquaman figure okay not bad as in bad but bad as in good if that you know make makes sense <laughs> the problem with the, the with this one is a complaint that a lot of people have is this ankle swivel and i agree the ankle swivel doesn't need to be on certain figures because it makes it very difficult to pose their feet and you're afraid of snapping it off but uh, this one i've gotten to a point where it's okay and it's where i want it to swivel you know back and forth uh, but it is sometimes very very difficult to get that swivel uh, to work correctly. So, uh, but that, that's Aquaman. That was a really, really nice figure, uh, that I found. And here's, uh, we, we did a, I did a video with, with my son, uh, where we built the, uh, the Ice King. I think his name's the Ice King. And it was being a pain to build. So I promised I'd show it again, uh, once it's built. So here is the complete product of the Build-A-Figure Ice king i think it's, i think, want to say it's ice king i don't i don't remember i i haven't read the series yet so I, i've got to get on reading it but this is the complete bath uh build a figure after you get all the um pieces and put them together uh, it's a really really decent bath um i think it's probably my my third favorite of the mcfarland uh build a figures that have been made obviously my first favorite like everyone else's is probably merciless i think merciless he just put a lot of love into because it was the first build a figure in the set uh, so it just came out really, really nice, the Merciless. Sorry, I'm going off camera here. Uh, and then I would follow the Merciless up. Honestly, I really dig the the Bane. A lot of people didn't like the Bane because it's really hard to put together. Uh, but I, I like the Bane a lot. So I'm going to say uh, Merciless is number one. Then I would follow that up with Bane. Then the Ice King, who was actually really hard to put together. And then uh, Dark Father is probably my next favorite, which is basically Batman uh, as Dark Side. So we're going to set that back over here. And uh, that's it for this video. Um, and I'll make another one shortly. And you guys enjoy your day. Have a good one. Keep collecting. <laughs>